Hello out there and welcome to today's edition of your favorite show, The Diaspora. First, you can call me Coin Sola Aditumbi and I'll be taking you through the program. And now I'll be sailing you through the just concluded Nigeria Diaspora Investment Summit. Let's take a look. important to, to have such event where uh, investors and businesses can meet and it's important I think for Nigeria to mobilize her diaspora uh, which is I think uh, valuable for, 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 for Nigeria and it's really important to to meet all the businesses here community around around the whole world and in Nigeria In Federal Ministry of Health, in collaboration with NITCOM, Nigeria Diaspora Commission, are going to be hosting some Nigerians in diaspora, professionals in diaspora, in which they'll be giving back to the country. They'll be doing a lot of capacity building. They'll come also to perform surgeries, provide services in the country within one to four weeks.
all my expertise, knowledge, and best practices that I have will serve Nigeria better than anywhere else. And that's what I've come to do. I believe the change we need in Nigeria is right inside us. It's all within us. There is a lot to be done in Nigeria. We all love our country. But love shouldn't just be an expression portrayed in words, but should be visible in one's action. A patriot is an example of someone who observes and practices these rules. Developing a country to make it better is the first and foremost duty of every citizen. I'm not a grown-up which must knowledge about my country, but I'm possibly aware of the roles I must play in order to improve the condition of my country. Many people leave Nigeria. Why? Because of their poor condition and settlement. I understand that I should not think of migrating to foreign countries. But it says it helps make Nigeria a destination country for others. To achieve that, I must study hard. The previous generation made Nigeria a good place for us to call home. And today, it is my generation's turn to make it even better for the future generations to live in. I'm not capable of doing it alone. Hence, everyone will take their part in it. I'll try to help Nigeria in any way I can. Being a Nigerian, I must study hard, which will hopefully one day be beneficial to my motherland. To make Nigeria a better country, all of you must take part in it. You, 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 everyone must take their part in it. We should always remember, never forget, that the future started yesterday. And I'm telling you, we need to hurry up, because we're already late. God bless Nigeria. There's no better place to invest than Nigeria. That's how whatever challenges they have. And we have Nigerians developing the world economy. We should encourage them to develop the Nigerian economy, and that is exactly what we are doing. Professor Sonido said one thing to us, that they are the other Nigeria. So it's about us working together, Nigerians at home and Nigerians in the diaspora, working together to develop our great country, Nigeria. And a lot of them are in this hall. You saw them from Saudi Arabia, from Japan, from Vietnam, from Togo, from Benelli Plobby, from the UK, from the US, from China, then this hall to do something back home in their country. Let me once more congratulate the, my sister, Honorable Ibike Daivri, for her imaginative uh, approach to this assignment that had been given to her and positioning the diaspora and linking it with home. In the last five years, the, vice pre the president and his able vice president, Professor Yemi Osibojo, have been working very hard to reposition Nigeria. Just recently, there is a report which shows that Nigeria has moved 15 places up in the competitiveness index. We at United Capital, we are proud to be part of this second year summit. It's indeed a privilege to showcase our progress as we support uh, the diaspora across the world too in our product development. There are areas of opportunity that lies in Nigeria that diasporas can reach on and uh, be able to collectively uh, take Nigeria to the next level. It really uh, was a pleasure to be there at that first summit and to wonder whether there would be a second summit. But if uh, Anyone knows uh, Honorable Abike Dabiri well. She certainly is one who is so determined and so committed. And I'm sure that we are going to not only have the second summit, we are going to have several other summits. But at that first summit, we were focused on the investment opportunities and our macroeconomic context. That was uh, at least the theme of what I spoke about. But the theme of this second summit is clearly meant to be complementary, which is leveraging diaspora resources for economic growth. I think we can explore how diasporans in the financial industries, in their countries of residence, can partner with local private capital companies to raise capital in both jurisdictions for investment. So very much is possible. There's a lot that, that is possible. In the past four years, our major focus as a government has been on infrastructure development, rail, roads, bridges, power, 
Our infrastructure spend is by far the largest in Nigeria's history. We have something called the Green Bond, which is Africa's largest sovereign environmental fund. What, what we've tried to do with, uh, with, with that bond is basically to focus on certain specific areas of investments in renewable energy. The bond is one that provides resources for several things. And we think that uh, the diasporans can invest in this bond because uh, as we've seen, it's a very lucrative bond. And at the same time, it has an important uh, economic and environmental purpose. So let me again commend the excellent work done by the Diaspora Commission under the inspirational and committed leadership of Honorable Abike Dabirirewa and all our brothers and sisters from the Diaspora who have contributed to the success of this uh, summit. Wow, that was so, so thoughtful of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, a one-stop platform for all diaspora engagements. And you know, it's so heartwarming to see our brothers and sisters in the diaspora wanting to invest in their homeland. We are super proud of you all. Did I tell you that the Namibian High Commissioner to Nigeria visited Mama Diaspora? Here's what he had to say. Namibia will have uh, elections for those Namibians residing outside the country. Uh, we have a community of Namibians staying here. Uh, some are here in um, Abuja and some are in Lagos. And they will be voting Namibia and Nigeria are really long-standing friends. Our people came here during the struggle for Namibia's independence. And your past leaders have labored for the independence and freedom of Namibia. Uh, 30 years ago, Namibia became an independent state. So the labor of Nigerian leaders have never been in vain. And they, they have really supported us and we are quite grateful for their support. Not only during the struggle, but after independence, Namibia and Nigeria have worked together in many sectors. Today, we have many Nigerians heavily residing in Namibia. We are also happy to say, just as the Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, His Excellency Geoffrey Onjema said, no Nigerians in Namibian prisons. No Nigerian has ever been harassed in Namibia. So we are very happy uh, also to be working with the chairman to see how Namibia can tap into its diaspora community abroad. How can we attract our diaspora uh, to come and invest in Namibia? Uh, diaspora in Investment Conference to see what we can borrow from this giant of Africa. Uh, we believe that Nigeria is the face of Africa to the world. And what happens here matters to all Africans throughout the whole world. I wish them the very best in their just concluded diaspora voting. Now let's hope Nigeria does the same soon. And now let's go on a quick break. Boy Alinko has got a message for you. Ha! Not so fast. Look, I'm tired. I want to check out of this country for greener pastures. Just calm down for a moment. Please sit down. <sighs> Do you have a job where you're going to? Uh, no, but someone is arranging, you know. Listen, uh, listen, listen, Alinko. Checking out of this country without proper planning means one thing. Unimaginable begin. Eh? You know, I've been in the diaspora, but legitimately doing great things at home and abroad. As I've been saying, without the proper footing abroad, the risk is not worth it. 
Listen, Alinko, it's better to be home than be trapped abroad or even end up in prison. Linko is still thinking if we should check out or not. And meanwhile, we've got lots of people checking in. And now I'll take you through the famous Badagri Dove return ceremony, where we had visitors from America, Jamaica, Puerto Rico, and the Caribbean. Join me on this. To the motherland. The journey can only be described as an experience Nobody of a lifetime. Nobody cares. Maybe it's Barbados, maybe it's Belize, maybe it's Jamaica. They don't, or maybe it's Lisbon. They don't know where they're taking them to. Walking the slave routes to the point of no return and seeing other relics of the slave trade era from cannons, slave cells, and a visit to the Akran of Padagri. These diasporans have literally imprinted their feet on African soil, thereafter walking through the door of return. This symbolic walk was part of activities for the 2019 Diaspora Festival, Badagri. The motive of the Diaspora Commission is to show the world the limitless opportunities in Nigeria, its beauty and the warmth of its people. And one of the ways to get it done is working with any African wherever you are in the world. If you don't get involved in developing Africa, then the world will still look down on you. I think that is what I saw here. And that is why I'm glad that our brothers and sisters from the diaspora are coming here. And as they are coming here, they are being led to what they can do in and for Africa, in particular in Nigeria here. It's a land of opportunities. Dr. David Anderson, who is the leader of the group, says the identity crisis faced by black Americans and others around the world can be resolved by tracing their roots. I keep coming back because it inspires me and I keep bringing other people back so it can inspire them and educate them so we can build bridges of reconciliation between the continent and the diaspora. I discover a little bit more of who I am and um, it's just awesome. I just love the culture, I love the dress, I love the food, I love the people. Uh, it is a blessing to be here. I am from the small island of Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Many of you may not know it, but it is a small island in the Caribbean, colonized by the Spanish. And when they killed the Taino Indians through the transmission of smallpox, they brought Nigerians to work the gold mines. And so I knew from our music growing up, from our festivals, that we were tied to this great nation. But it wasn't until last year when I took a DNA test, it determines where your ancestry is from, from your blood, that I am 9.4% Nigerian. Thank you for welcoming us home. We are home and we are glad to be here. And thank you for your love. Thank you for your hospitality. May God bless you. Amen. May he keep you. May heaven smile upon you. And may the peace of God be with you. To see what so many have been through and to now be able to go back and tell so many what is here and what must happen here so that we can build bridges the love and hope and healing. Thank you. The message by the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission as it opens the door of return for the third time is for the world to come to Nigeria and experience history. 
We thank you for walking us back home. We today walk the footsteps of our ancestors. When we were taken away from here, we never forgot Mother Africa. And we come back here today, and we thank you for having welcomed us back home and never having forgotten us. For all the millions of Africans who could not make this journey, but who are still outside, we represent them. And we give thanks and praise for the welcome that you've given us. And we are the seeds and the testimony that they too will be returning home. So prepare yourself as you've done for us to receive the brothers and sisters to come back home. And that we remember the Dagri, we remember Nigeria. Nigeria, oh! oh. Nigeria, oh! Our diaspora delight is John Abraham Godson, first black member of the Polish parliament under the center-right civic platform party in a white country. A former charismatic minister of the Church of God in Christ, Poland. A philanthropist committed to uplifting the welfare of Polish citizens and Nigerians. Godson is an agronomist with a passion for ranching. He has a ranch in Abia State, Nigeria. John Abraham Godson is also an educationist with numerous degrees. He believes culture is the new frontier for the socio-economic empowerment of nations. A Polish citizen born and raised in Nigeria, proudly Nigerian. You see what I'm telling you? Nigerians in the diaspora are constantly making waves and pushing boundaries. We are super proud of you all. And now, here's a segment I love so much. Kudos to the Nigerian government and the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission. And also not forgetting our citizens with the heart of gold. Here is the help from home segment. You remember Mr. Olani, the young man whose video went viral for roaming the streets of New Jersey. But you know what? Nigerians are indeed their brother's keeper. The Nigerian community in New Jersey rallied around him. Where's your dad? I think he should be at work right now. If it's, if it's in, New, in New Jersey? U.S.? Yeah. Do, do they know you're going through this stress? I mean, they the one that put me in the stress. How? Um, they the one that try to take over the system. Which system are you talking about? The government system, the world government system. And take a quick look at his transformation now. What a lovely and inspirational transformation. And also, let's take a quick look at the dispositional gesture of a lady who pleaded anonymity. She reached out to the CEO of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, Honorable Abike Dabiri Erewa. She offered to donate her one month salary to the South African returnees. Let's take a quick look at her visit to the commission. Stay with us. From uh, a lady who said, as a two-time cancer survivor, she just wanted to give back and she wanted to give it to me. In particular, the children of South Africa returnees, a month, one month salary. We appreciate her, we thank her. And I appeal to Nigerians, if you still want to give, they still need your help. Wow, wasn't that so touching? We all can offer a helping hand. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. You can reach us on all our social media platforms, on Facebook at Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, on Twitter at NIDCOM underscore gov, on Instagram at NIDCOM underscore gov. You can also reach us on our website at NIDCOM underscore gov.ng. My name is Koinsola Adetumbi. See you next week.